Hey guys, today let's play a game of Spelunky. This is an indie platformer game that was developed all the way back in 2008, uh, making it part of the indie game renaissance along with Braid, uh, which was also developed in 2008. So 2008 is when indie games really started becoming popular again, thanks to Xbox Live Arcade. And Spelunky and Braid, I think, were huge parts of that. So yeah, I've never actually played this game before. I've had it in my library for a while. Just uh, haven't checked it out. <laughs> so, here we go. I know this game is made for PC because, yeah, like developing indie games for consoles wasn't really a thing back then. Deathmatch? I didn't know it was Deathmatch. Okay, Adventure. Uh, yes, let's do that. Interesting, we choose different types of spelunkers. Okay, I guess I choose the, uh, this guy here. The old man spelunker. Graphics and everything are actually not too bad. I mean, considering this is from 2008, right? And I play Cave Story. When I play Cave Story, I mean, you can tell that game was from the early 2000s. But this game is is actually okay. And it still holds up today. The graphics still holds up today, actually. Not too bad. I mean, even games from 2011 from that time, uh, they, don't, they don't look too different from this one. This and this is uh, from 2008. So yeah, not too bad. The graphics are fine. I guess this is before the whole retro style graphics. The retro indie style graphics, which I would say really came into being in probably around 2013. Around Shovel Knight, that kind of era. <laughs> where retro graphics really started becoming popular for indie developers. But in this era, is uh, modern graphics are still pretty popular, I'd say. Or flash style graphics, I would say. And granted, like, Flash games were really popular back in 2008, so, you know, I don't blame them, right? Flash graphics were really, were really everywhere, actually, back in, back in those days. <coughs> Alright. Jump on people's heads, like Mario.
Kevin's general store. Oh, I actually didn't need to purchase that. Wow, like in this destructible environment. That's cool. The environments are destructible. Very nice. not crystal caves, <laughs> that's for sure, it's the other kind of spelunking game I guess you could say. Not the most difficult. What the hell? What the heck, what just killed me? An arrow. So this is a roguelike, so every time you go into a level it's different. The levels are randomly generated, so um, yeah, it's a roguelike, which is pretty cool because this is one of the earliest roguelike uh, indie games. just cheap. You get killed by random stuff. Like, how are you supposed to even avoid that? How are you supposed to avoid that? This game has a, few, a lot of things that's really ahead of its time, like destructible environments, um, being roguelike. Like it's, it has a lot of things that's really ahead of its time in terms of being an indie game, right? Like for a, a blockbuster, like AAA developer, yeah, okay, that stuff kind of stuff isn't too impressive. But for an indie developer back in 2008, these kind of things are actually pretty impressive. You gotta give the, the guy a developer credit. And it was developed by a single person, I believe. So it is a true indie project, developed by one person.
why is she like stuck in the middle of the, of the rock? She should be dead. Lack of oxygen and everything. <laughs> I think that she would have died from that. Time you die, I think you have to restart all of it. What the heck? This one I can't see anything. This one I can't see anything, so oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta get out of here. The child bully is coming. <laughs> Somehow beat that. Next level, please. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> that is so cheap. There's random things in the caves just killing you. I mean, sometimes you might get easier levels than others because it's always randomly generated, right? So, sometimes you might get lucky. Kills me? What? The heck? He kills me. Okay. I didn't know uh, that guy. I didn't even know that guy was not friendly. I thought he might have been friendly. All right, guys. Let's stop here since I have to redo everything over. So that's Spelunky. It's a very challenging game. Uh, it's a roguelike, which means every level is different every time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun to play, I think. And I think for the time it was created back in 2008, this is a pretty nice looking game. It has a lot of interesting mechanics uh, in it. Um, so yeah, uh, I think this is a this is a cool game. So yeah, highly recommend checking out Spelunky. It's available for PC and uh, maybe a few other platforms. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.